much is the planet, that is to say the rest of us, willing to pay to support this effort to stop the you know, dreaded global warming or whatever they phrase it in terms of that. It'll be a fear campaign as well, just to try and keep the chemtrails going. But it at least will bring it up to some level of public debate. Well, that's uh, interesting. I mean, you know, here they've been doing this for I don't know how many years, and, you know, now all of a sudden, just like everything else, it's going to be, you know, part of mainstream uh, right. information. And, um, again, it just is, it, it's, it really takes off the rose-colored glasses. You know, each, <coughs> each aspect that your, your reports bring out just, again, just peels off those rose-colored glasses, another layer of them. And you find out how interconnected all of this sure. is. It's just... You start in on one thing, and it leads you to the next, and then you you make the mistake of looking to the left or right, and you find out that stuff over there is connected. Yep. Well, yep. and it's just like you and I and everybody else, we're all interconnected. So, you know, it stands to reason. That there, it's, it's not a starting or stopping point. It's, you can't go back and just pinpoint, well, here's where it began. It began right. and is a widespread thing, right. you know, and uh, it, it's, been, it's, it's been an interesting ride, to say the least. Um, we have about four or five minutes, I think, something like that. We have, oh, okay, we have about eight minutes. I was way off on my timing. Whoa. Um, we have about eight minutes left. Um, what else in the uh, Terra Blankets uh, can we talk about? Or the, do we have the real important part is the big squeeze, yes. the magnetic pressure cooker effect. Uh, there's a lot of uh, actual science on the... Uh, Russian and Polish, uh, to only speak of a two, um, uh, science journals supporting the idea that the magnetic ribbon at the middle uh, section of the Milky Way that we're currently transiting with our solar system and which we peak at its, uh, its most uh, dense part on the 21st of December uh, 2012 is indeed a giant magnetic pressure cooker, if you will. And it is not that our magnetic systems within the, the, our solar system are weakening. It is that they are being dampened down by the more giant, more pressing galactic magnetic system. So in other words, the swirling red spot, the perpetual uh, storms on Jupiter and Saturn have been scrunched down into smaller sizes. And we find that the sun is quiet. Well, it's not quiet because it's getting weak or anything, but it's quiet because it's getting pressured. So it doesn't have much opportunity to get into the situation of throwing filaments off and developing cold magnetic spots, because, which is really all um, uh, sunspot is, is because of the greater galactic magnetism that's pushing that down, pushing the heliopause down, the heliosphere, the magnetic uh, sphere around the Earth, etc. And that also is probably what's causing the bad driving in Kansas. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. Well, and if I you're not getting, right if you're not sleeping there. well because right. of the magnetism, or your your you know eyes are a bit wonky, or something along these lines. Well, let's talk about that for a second because you know right after that, I started having people come to me and go, "Man, I haven't slept. I just can't can't sleep. Doesn't matter what I do, I take a sleeping pill. I still can't sleep." So you know, again, so it begins. Right, exactly, and that that we've seen for a long time, and yep. that's been a big contributor to the whole idea that we'll have people walking around just suddenly stop in the middle of a street and just sort of stand there, you know, uh, spaced out, and it's because the their poor sleep has caught up with them and they just can't go anywhere, and the extra magnetism is monkeying with their brain. So anywhere in there, do you have any um, advice for people as far as how we can protect ourselves from the excessive magnetism? Okay, now this is where it gets really dangerous. Well, right. You've got to be real careful. Okay. okay? Uh, but I'll be straight out with you. Good. There, there are some suggestions that the powers that be are, are interested in some substances, but people should not go on out and buy this stuff without knowing their bodies, without being really careful about it, because these substances are A, very expensive, and once ingested, you can't get rid of them necessarily. But it seems as though the powers that be, or rather, let me put it this way, the powers that be are spending money to investigate ORMs uh, within the uh, testing on military subjects within uh, uh, the context of anti-radiation in the sense of uh, not being um, getting um, a sunburn and being able to withstand uh, radiation that naturally comes from such things as welding. And so the ORMs are orbitally realigned uh, molecular elements that you may see people touting under the name of, like, white gold. But not all white gold is ORMs. ORMs are very difficult things to engineer. And basically what they do is they, for instance, a gold atom is pentagonal naturally. Gold is really cool. It's the second on the chemical 
order of uh, most stable isotopes. We start off with tungsten, which has no natural stable isotope in, in nature. Then we have gold, which has one, then silver, which has two, and then we run through all of the other precious metals, platinum, um, uh, rhodium, iridium, etc., before we're getting into the base metals. But anyway, gold has these five molecules, or five atoms that, that clump together to form a natural gold molecule. And orm is where they take that through a process and collapse it in on itself so that all those five atoms occupy the space that used to be in one atom. Okay? The orms are ingested on the theory that they're going to lodge and uh, support structures within the pineal gland, and there's some support for this. Again, the military is being in, is in, is in the process of investigating them as a, a sort of, I guess loosely you could describe it as an immune booster for things like radiation. So one could suppose that it may help that way. But uh, it's not my advice to anybody to go on out and ingest these things, especially since most people are so woefully ignorant of their own uh, chemical systems and what they've got in them already that you'd be very unwise to do so without extensive research because anything that goes into the pineal gland is going to be activated by light, may cause the, you know, may actually impact the ability to sleep again, and good or bad, I don't know. But it's also in a situation where it's going to be awful hard to get out of there. Interesting stuff there. Interesting yeah. Interesting stuff. But, you know, they're naturally occurring and, and they're also manufactured, so there's just, and you can have an orm of virtually any of the um, uh, more precious metals. And there is some suggestion that, that uh, orm iridium is at the connection between the uh, consciousness and the physical material world. Hmm. Okay. That gives a lot of people out there a lot of things to chew on and to think about, and that's the... And they that's better the research it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Don't, don't come and blame me if, you know, right. all of a sudden you light up and start twitching. Right, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, you have to do your research uh, to be sure.